there's a point in every revolution where an idea stops being the future and starts being today. Electric motorcycles for a very long time have been chasing the dream of instant torque, clean energy and zero noise levels. And today, that idea just got a serious high voltage upgrade. This is the Rapti T30, India's first high voltage electric motorcycle. And let me tell you what that really means. Most electric motorcycles in India run on an architecture that's around 72 volts, which is decent for scooters and commuters. But this thing, it's running on a 240 volt system, the same kind of architecture you find in electric cars. Now, this is a big thing because the higher voltage means it can draw more power and generate torque quickly. And in doing so, generate less heat. Less heat means low energy loss and this cancels out the need for any complex cooling solutions, thus saving a lot of weight. This allows the bike to have a built-in CCS2 charger. It can plug into any public car station across India. Now that's a first and it takes me back to what I said at the start. Is this the future of Indian EV motorcycling? Let's maybe discuss that in the comments. But for now, let's talk design. Because the Rapti T30 isn't exactly an eco-commuter. It's muscular. Almost like it's channeling a bit of DRL DNA up front with that chunky dual lamp setup and twin DRLs. There's a strong fairing presence. Almost the entire front is wrapped in it. And that gives it a purposeful, futuristic stance which is enhanced further by its tire hugger and its grab rails. It's got an upside down fork at the front, an adjustable mono shock at the back and a belt drive instead of a chain which is not just for silence but for weight savings too. Underneath all that bodywork sits a 5.4 kilowatt hour battery powering a 22 kilowatt motor putting out 30 bhp and 70 newton meters of torque. That's good enough for going from 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds and a top speed of 135 kilometers an hour. The range claimed 200 kilometers, but realistically expect about 150 in mixed riding and that too when you're riding in its most efficient comfort mode with high regen levels. And when you do run low on range, it'll charge from 20 to 80% in just 45 minutes at any public CCS2 fast charger. Now this is a big distinguishing factor. Front brakes are a 320mm disc, rear a 230mm disc and both come with dual channel ABS. And now let's talk about how this thing feels on the road. The Rapti T30 comes with three modes, comfort, power and sprint. In sprint mode, the bike honestly delivers. It's incredibly responsive. The kind of response that gets you from standstill to grin in seconds but without that jerky top punch most EVs suffer from. It's controlled, progressive and seriously fun. The trade-off, your range drops to around 75 kilometers. And due to the bike's high voltage nature, you'll experience comparatively very few performance drops during the long run when you're pushing the bike to its limits. Power mode is where the sweet spot lies. It balances punch with practicality. It gives you smooth acceleration, a steady pull and a linear response that feels well engineered. And then there's the comfort mode, which well makes the Rapti feel like an e-scooter. It's gentle, quiet and perfect for city commutes, but not something enthusiasts will linger on. You also get multiple regen levels, a hill hold assist functionality and even a reverse mode. Handling wise, it leans towards the stiffer side, which actually helps stability at higher speeds but makes tight U-turns a bit tricky thanks to its longish turning radius. But overall, it's surprisingly comfortable. The right triangle feels natural, vibration levels are low and the suspension setup does a commendable job of soaking up everyday imperfections. You also get a large touchscreen display. It's 7 inches, which is almost tablet size. It comes with navigation support and even gives users access to OTA updates in the future. At Rs 2.39 lakh X showroom, the Rapti T30 isn't trying to be the cheapest Indian electric motorcycle. But by adopting a high voltage architecture, it has definitely carved a good niche for itself in the Indian market. 
because in a way this chennai based brand has challenged the very blueprint of what we think of as electric motorcycles a high voltage platform car grade charging lightweight construction and performance that actually feels mechanical not digital it's raw yes but it feels very refined at times sure it's not perfect the turning radius the smaller battery and a few quirks here and there do need some upgrades but if this is what the first chapter of indian high voltage electric motorcycling looks like the future does look revolutionary tell us what you think